Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. I'm so glad to be back. Um, for the last two weeks I've been battling the flu, so it's nice to finally get back into making videos again. I'm using this sketch here that I got off of Pinterest. It's taking a 6x6 six six sheet of paper and making four cards. So I'm going to be using the Doodle Bugs Cream and Sugar Paper Pack. I'm just going to flip through it here real quick just to show you some of the papers and then it starts over again and I'm also going to be using a glitter sheet from this die cuts with a view glitter pack that I got so in picking out the 6x6 paper I decided to use the hearts now on parts of uh, what we're cutting out the hearts are sometimes going in a different direction they're not all going um, vertical but it didn't bother me too bad so I just kept on going and trying to figure out exactly you know which side I wanted to cut which way so that way the hearts were going in the right direction so you cut one square that's four by four then the long side is uh, five and a half by one and three fourths, and then your smaller piece is going to be two inches by four and a quarter. All right, and once you get those pieces cut out, I already had some A2 size cards that were already cut and folded, so I'm using um, that particular cardstock and. I want to say I cut it at four and a quarter by eleven and then scored it at five and a half. So I'm gonna have two that are top folding and then two that are side uh, opening. And all I'm using is my ATG gun to uh, attach each piece. And if you find that any of your paper is pulling up, um, you could always use a combination of ATG tape and uh, wet glue. It's it's up to you. But for me and for what we're doing here today, the ATG gun is fine. So once I got all my pieces laid down, I decided to cut out half inch strips of the glitter paper. Now I will tell you this, if you get the die cuts with the view glitter paper, it does shed. So if you have any issues with glitter, you probably don't want to get this one because it does shed. It was all over the cards, my cutter, um, my work surface, so just be aware, okay? And um, I did find that you're going to have to cut however many strips for each card that you're making. So I had at first, I think I only did three strips, so I just cut one more real quick. And then I laid it down and just trimmed off the rest. And I'm using my uh, cloth that I use to clean off my stamps to clear off some of the um, glitter. And on this one, I wind up, I don't know how I laid it down, but I at the bottom it made a weird little square. But um, it was okay. I, I, it didn't bother me too much. I just keep it moving. <laughs> But I'm just attaching these where the dark gray lines are on our sketch photo. Now, the one that was the shorter piece and it had the gray line going across in the middle, I didn't do it in the middle. I just went down um, the same length as the paper itself. So, you know, I always say when it comes to sketches, they give you inspiration. You can always follow to a T or you can change things up and still have a similar feel and what I decided to do since the pattern paper itself was hearts I have an old stamp set that was in my stash and I'm just stamping two of the sentiments one says your sweetheart and the other one is a frog with a heart well that's the one I'm doing right here and it's that um, sentiment that just says kiss me and I'm using my Misty tool, my little mini Misty, to stamp these two. 
And I definitely suggest if you can figure out, you know, where to place your magnets, use it because it does help for when you have to do the double stamping. That way you're not slightly off and it creates a, a much crisper uh, image. And you guys, you can, if you're doing these type of stamps, um, color them in. For me and for this particular project, I wasn't interested in coloring them. I just needed the focal image. And, you know, I, I think it's cute. Sometimes you could just leave the stamps alone. You don't always have to color them in. Now, if you wanted to, you know, where the hearts are, I could have done like a red glitter, like a um, Spectrum Noir or um, Wink of Stella and colored that in so that way it would have a little shimmer or whatever. Um, I didn't on this particular video. I just matted them and... Uh, use foam tape to give them a little bit of dimension and I made these squares for the focal images um, two and a half by two and a half and the mat is two and a half the mats are two and a half by two and a half and then the uh, white paper that we actually stamped on that was two and a quarter by two and a quarter and then like I said I'm using some foam tape to attach these to the front and it the foam tape really works best especially with using the glitter paper it'll attach better to the front and I'm just using my everything tool the little pointy end to take the backing off of the uh, the foam tape and if you see any pieces that are you know pulling up or trying to come undone you can always use your art glitter glue like I just did to you know make sure it, it stays down and really these are quite just simple but they they're really nice cards and you can add more stuff to it if you're a person you know normally I like to do you know like a sequin or a splatter or um, using the Nuvo drops there's so many different things different options that you could do but I just wanted to show you quick and simple how you could change up or use this idea from a 6x6 sheet of paper okay so there's all our cards thank you guys so much for joining me today um, please hit the like subscribe and share button and at the very end of the video, I will have links to the last two sketch videos that we had. And once again, I thank you guys uh, just for being patient with me as I fight through the flu and try to get better so I can get videos going and again. Um, I, will, I do have planned the layout video that I was going to do right before Christmas. It was going to be for Christmas Eve. I'm actually going to have that video for this Sunday. Um, I hope to have that one up and ready to go. Alrighty, and just stay tuned. We may have some changes to our normal schedule, but like I said, just if you hit that subscribe button, you'll always get alerts whenever I upload videos. So thanks again, you guys, and have a great day.